how to program a sales department on the Sharp XEA307 cash register. First of all, you need to enter the programming mode. To do this, press the mode button and scroll down to line 6, PGM mode. When highlighted, press TLNS and then you need to choose line 2, setting. Scroll down to 2, setting and press TLNS. You're now in the main program route menu and the default option is article, which is the one you want, so simply press TLNS and then press TLNS again to choose department. This now brings up a list of all the departments on the cash register. We'll scroll down to department 5 and we want to program department 5, so when highlighted press TLNS. This now brings up all the settings for that department. So the first one is price. So if it's an open sales department, i.e. one that you want to be able to type in a variable price each time, then you would leave the price at zero. We're going to program ours to be um, with a default price of two pounds. So to do that, on the zero to nine keyboard, type in the price without pressing the decimal point button. So we've typed in two zero zero and the price is set to two pounds. We can now change the description of the product. You'll see on the zero to nine keypad, you have alpha characters on each of the number buttons. So you can use these to program a description for the department. We're gonna have ours in capitals. So we press the PO caps button and you can see you're in caps because the A is highlighted at the bottom. We're going to call our department goods. So we've got the G on there. Zero is the, sorry, O is the third press of the number six button. And because we've got two O's in a row, we have to save the first one by pressing the arrow across auto menu. And then we press number six again three times to get the second O. And then D is on the number nine key, one press, and then to get the S, it's four presses of the number one. You then scroll down to the next setting, so we can see now we've got our description programmed. Type is defaulted to open, so that's if you're having a variable price department. Ours, we want a preset price on it, so if we press subtotal, when open's highlighted, it can bring in bring up all the settings you can possibly have on a department. So inhibit basically means the button doesn't work. Open is open. Preset is preset. Open and preset means you can have a default price, but you can override that price. So you can have a variable price as well as the default one. We'll have ours. We'll put ours at open and preset so we can see how it works. So you choose open preset. When highlighted, press TLNS. The last three options are all to do with the tax. So on the 307, the tax rates are controlled by department. So once you've set your tax rates up, you can then apply a various tax rate to a department. Well, we want ours at the default setting of tax one, which is set to yes. If you wanted to change it to no, you simply press subtotal when highlighted and then choose no by scrolling down and pressing TLNS. But we want to keep ours as yes. So we're happy with all the settings. So when we're happy and want to go back to the main mode, press TLNS to save, and then escape cancel till you return back to the main reg mode. And if we now press the department five button, we can see it's come up with two pounds and the goods description. Because we set it at open and preset, we can now put a sale through at a different price. So 4.99 into the goods department. For more information on the 307 cash register, please search YouTube for ShopStuff LTD or visit sharphelp.co.uk. Thanks for watching.